How to add custom font to Shopify. My name is Krause and in today's tutorial we are going to go over everything needed to successfully add a custom font onto your Shopify page. Now no worries we aren't going to need any expensive third party app for this. Um, obviously when adding third party apps this will significantly reduce the loading speed of your site which will then lead to lower conversion rates and so on. We are rather going to edit everything directly within Shopify so without further ado let's get started. So first things first you will actually have to find a font that you want to add onto your site. Now to actually do this I would recommend you to just look at other big stores uh, to get some inspiration like for example Gymshark uh, or for example let's look at H and M. So basically you can just look through these uh, through these stores you can basically get some inspiration on what kind of fonts they're using. Now basically to see what font they're using you can use an add-on called what font. Uh, I guess I will just leave you the link for this down below. Uh, this is basically a chrome add-on and when activating this you can basically just see what font they're using. In this case this would be Roboto, then this would be Montserrat, this would be Montserrat as well uh, and basically with this add-on you can just look through all sorts of different sites to see what fonts are currently trending. Now on the other hand basically there are tons of different sites out there like the font 1001 free fonts and so on where you can get some inspiration on one what font could probably work for you. Let me quickly change this to English, sorry my bad. Uh, and right here you can then basically sort by style. So if you do want to kind of have a distorted font, I don't know if this is good for a Shopify store but either way then you are going to have that option right here. You can basically just play around with this and so on. Now I would actually recommend you to just look through this, maybe also look through 1001 free fonts and to actually find a font which you like. Now basically the most common font types are going to be TTF files and OTF files uh, which both are going to work on Shopify. So in this case I don't know I guess I'm just going to go with this Brandford font right here. I'm just randomly going to choose this and then I'm going to quickly open this up. So right here as you can see we do have this OTF uh, file right here. Perfect. We only need this we don't need anything else. Then head back to Shopify so open up the Shopify dashboard and then head over to content right here on the left and click on files. And right here you will then just have to click on upload files on the top right where you will then have to select your font file. So I will just select this Brandford OTF font. I'm going to select that and now this is going to be uploaded onto our uh, file manager essentially. So now that this is updated we can basically continue with the setup. Now head back to your online store and now basically you do want to open up the edit code section right here. No worries, this is super straightforward, this isn't complicated at all. If you are going to follow the steps that I'm doing, everything is going to work out fine, okay? So just click on edit code right here and then look for base. CSS. On some themes basically this also is called theme.css but either way for most of the newer themes uh, this is going to be called base.css. The setup is going to be exactly the same. So right here make sure to just scroll uh, to the far bottom of your page. Make sure to actually create a new line uh, right under these brackets so that we don't actually influence the default Shopify theme and then you will have to head over to the link down below. Now as you can see this is going to be a code line which you will have to paste into the Shopify theme right here. So to get started you do want to copy this first line of code onto the theme and then we will have to actually change the name of the font. So in this case we could then probably just change this to my font or anything else. Uh, however I guess I'm just going to you, uh, name this Brandford as this is going to be the actual font name. So I'm just going to rename this to Brandford. As for the source URL this is actually really important. Right here you will have to put in the URL of your font and this is why we've actually uploaded the font to Shopify in the first place. So just open your Shopify dashboard in a new tab and then right here head back to your files. So basically do the content then files and then make sure to copy the link of your Brandford OTF file right here and just paste this onto this section right here. Then you will actually have to save this. However we're sadly not done yet. So now we will actually have to define on what kind of text should have this special font. So because if we're for example just going to look at our font right now and um, let me actually show this. Just click on inspect 
and then select this thing right here, we can actually see that, for example, this browser latest product section right here is a heading font. So as you can see right here, as for the role, this would be a heading. And on the far top left of this box, you can also see that this is an H2 heading. So this featured products thing, for example, also would be H2. Okay, if we're going to continue looking at this, let's for example, look at this. Okay, this would be H2. However, this would be a P. Uh, P basically text block. Then we can, will also have to look through this and so on. So basically what I'm trying to show you guys is that depending on the different kind of text block, the font will be changed. So basically we will have to define on what kind of text blocks should be changed and what kind of text blocks should be updated with our custom font. Now, as for these HTML tags basically. Here are the six most common ones. So this would be P, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Basically the lower the number gets, uh, the smaller the heading would be. And then we also do have an A, basically an A tag, which sometimes also gets used essentially. So just look for your theme and then you will have to head back to the Google Doc right here and you will have to copy this second line of code and once again you will have to paste it onto your code editor right here which we've basically still have open from beforehand and then right here we will have to set the name of the body of the font essentially. So in this case we will then have to set the heading to h2 right here. So let me quickly just change this. I'm just going to put in h2. And now this should get updated. There is still one final step which we will have to do. We will have to set the font family right here from my font to Brandford in this case. So I'm just going to copy and paste this onto this. So when we are now going to preview the store, this should actually be updated. As you can see, now everything is correctly up updated. All of the H2 headings are going to have this custom font. Now, obviously, in my opinion, this font probably doesn't suit this shop very well, but either way, you will just have to play around with this on your own. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.